first on five. Baldwin County educators are declaring victory even after voters failed to pass one of their tax renewals for school funding. Three mills of property tax were renewed, putting the school system above the state's minimum requirements for funding. As News 5's Debbie Williams tells us, even with the victory, though, there are still many challenges ahead. Then he gave out a long, low moan. And a normal day at school for students and teachers at Stapleton Elementary. As much of it. After a stressful night with school funding at risk. We consider it a victory, though, because of the numbers that turned out in support. Two tax renewals on the Super Tuesday ballot, the three mil renewal, passed. The one mil, or a loss of about $4 million, was defeated. We're just going to step back and, and just enjoy that the public, I think, is... is is listening and starting to embrace some of the changes and uh, and then get together and, and talk about how we want to move forward. It's a defeat, but at the same time, it shows that Baldwin County is um, in favor of the school system. Okay. County Commission Chairman Tucker Dorsey says now the work of finding answers to challenges still facing the system can begin. We still have not dealt with real growth issues with regards to classrooms and infrastructure and how we're going to move that forward. Really tricky. Special school districts could be an answer and will be discussed among educators, the business community, and city and county leaders in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, for the fastest growing school system in the state, yes. Yes, absolutely. it's business as usual. Our doors are open today, buses are running, our teachers and employees do a stellar job. That's why people come to Baldwin County. That's why we're growing at an elementary school a year. Now, there was strong support for the tax renewals in the beach communities as well as Spanish Fort and the Eastern Shore, but the issue kind of fell flat in the out outlying areas of Baldwin County. As for options going forward, the, a recount is possible, and seeing that renewal on the November ballot, well, that's not likely. Live from the Baldwin County Newsroom, Debbie Williams, News 5.